Vanessa, feeling threatened, lashed out at Florence, stating that she was already engaged to something and nothing could change that. Florence, heartbroken, stormed out in tears. At home, she blamed herself for not confessing earlier. The weight of her unrequited love and the recent event took a toll on her mental health. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Lagos, there lived a young man named Samson. He was tall, strong, with a deep chocolate skin tone, and he studied computer science at the university. Samson was not like most people. He was quiet and kept to himself, having only a few close friends. One of those friends was Florence, a kind-hearted nursing student in the same university as him. Samson and Florence had been friends since high school. They supported each other through thick and thin. While Samson was good with computers, earning money through coding, programming, and the likes, Florence came from a well-off family and often helped Samson financially. She cared deeply for him, secretly harboring feelings beyond friendship. Florence was a lively and outgoing person. She loved making friends and having good time. Despite her affection for Samson, he only saw her as a dear friend. Samson, raised to respect women and their feelings, never considered romance with anyone. He was kind-hearted and appreciated Florence's company, but remained oblivious to her love for him. One sunny afternoon, as Samson was engrossed in his coding project, Florence came, bouncing into his room with a bright smile. Hey Samson, I brought your favorite snack, Florence exclaimed, holding up a bag of chips. Samson looked up from his computer, his eyes lighting up. You are the best, Florence. Thank you so much. Florence grinned, placing the snack on his desk. Anything for you, Samson. You know I'm always here. As the days passed, Florence's feeling for Samson grew stronger. She found herself doing little things for him, hoping he would notice her affection. She would cook his favorite meals, wash his dishes, and even surprise him with small gifts. However, Samson remained unaware of her romantic feelings, thinking of her gestures as just friendly acts. One night, Florence was all dressed up for a lively party. She glanced at Samson, who was, as usual, engrossed in his coding project. A mischievous idea popped into her mind. She approached him with a playful grin. Samson, why don't you come to the party with me tonight? It will be so much fun, Florence suggested enthusiastically. Samson hesitated at first, not accustomed to social gatherings. I don't know, Florence, I'm not really into parties. But Florence persisted, knowing Samson needed a break from his routine. Come on, Samson, this is just once. I promise you, you will enjoy it. Besides, I'll be with you the whole time. After some gentle persuasion, Samson relented. Okay, I will come, but I'll stick close to you. I'm not good at starting conversations with strangers. Florence beamed with excitement. Great, you won't regret it, I promise. That night, they arrived at the vibrant party venue. Florence introduced Samson to her friends and they all welcomed him warmly. Samson, although initially hesitant, found himself enjoying the atmosphere. As he sat with Florence and her friends, his gaze wandered across the room and settled on a stunning lady in a dazzling red dress. His heart skipped a bit, feeling a strange sensation he had never experienced before. It was love at first sight. Unable to contain his curiosity, Samson leaned over to Florence's male friend, who was sitting beside him. Hey, do you know who that lady in the red dress is? 
he asked. Florence's friend grinned knowingly. Oh, that's Vanessa. She is in the social science department, one of the brightest scholars. Samson's interest picked further. Is there a way I could get her number? He asked. The friend chuckled. Sure, I can give it to you. Later that night, as everyone bid goodbye and left for their homes, Samson couldn't shake off the image of Vanessa from his mind. He mustered the courage to text her, complimenting her appearance at the party. Vanessa, surprised but intrigued, responded, sparking a conversation that continued for days. As Samson spent more time chatting with Vanessa, Florence noticed his constant smile while texting. She couldn't help but feel a pang of jealousy, wondering what had captured Samson's attention so intensely. Days turned into weeks, and Vanessa and Samson grew closer through their text. Vanessa eventually suggested meeting in person, to which Samson agreed. They set a date and a location for their first physical meeting. On the day of their meeting, as Samson prepared to leave, Florence accidentally arrived at his door. She noticed his dressed up appearance and asked about his plans. Where are you off to Samson? Florence inquired, trying to max her surprise. I'm meeting someone, he replied. Florence's curiosity got the best of her. A girl? Samson nodded, smiling. Yes, a beautiful lady. Florence was taken aback. Since when did you start socializing, Samson? Samson laughed. Since that night, you dragged me to the party. Florence felt a mix of emotion, surprise, jealousy, and perhaps a hint of realization about her own feelings for Samson. She asked for the keys to his dorm, deciding to wait for him there until he returned. Late into the night, Samson returned, still smiling from his time with Vanessa. He was surprised to find Florence still waiting for him. Florence, what are you doing here? Samson asked. I've been waiting for you. Where were you? Florence questioned, trying to max her emotions. I was just asked with a friend, he said. Florence pressed further. Since when do you have friends outside our circle? Samson replied, since that party, I guess. Florence couldn't help but feel a knot of jealousy in her stomach. She realized that her feelings for Samson ran deeper than friendship, and seeing him with someone else stirred something inside of her. The air was thick with unspoken emotions as they stood facing each other in Samson's room. Florence felt a wild wind of emotions as Samson told her about Vanessa. She listened quietly, trying to be happy for him, but feeling a pang of jealousy inside. She had loved Samson since their first year, but never told him. As the days turned into weeks, Samson and Vanessa grew closer. They spent a lot of time together, studying, going out, and even watching movies. Florence noticed how Samson became more attached to Vanessa, leaving her in the shadows. One day, Florence went to Samson's room and saw Vanessa there. Samson introduced them to each other and Vanessa greeted Florence warmly. Florence tried to hide her jealousy, but it was hard seeing them together. Despite her feelings, Florence never told Samson about her crush. She held on to hope that one day Vanessa would leave and she could confess her feelings. Little did she know that Samson was already envisioning a future with Vanessa. On a special day, Vanessa expressed her love for Samson and asked him to be her boyfriend. Samson was thrilled and eagerly accepted. He couldn't wait to tell Florence the good news. Guess what, Florence? Vanessa asked me to be her boyfriend, and I said yes. Samson exclaimed with excitement. Florence forced a smile, 
hiding her true feelings. That's wonderful, Samson. I'm happy for you. As Vanessa and Samson's relationship blossomed, Florence felt a mix of sadness and jealousy. She tried to let go of her feelings for Samson, but they only grew stronger. Vanessa and Samson dated for over a year, going through their final year in college together. Florence silently observed, hoping their relationship would end. She didn't want to do anything to break them apart because she knew how much Samson cherished their relationship. During this time, Florence struggled with her emotions. She wanted Samson to be happy, but she couldn't deny her own feelings. She spent countless nights thinking about Samson and Vanessa, wishing things were different. After graduating from university, Samson and Vanessa remained a couple. Samson landed a job at a prestigious tech company in Nigeria, living a comfortable life with house and cars. He had everything he wanted, including plans to propose to Vanessa, his longtime love. Florence, on the other hand, felt a mix of anger and sorrow upon realizing Samson was still with Vanessa after all these years. Despite staying in touch, their friendship had grown distant due to Samson's new responsibilities. Florence couldn't bear seeing Samson with the person she disliked from their college days. One weekend, as Samson planned to propose to Vanessa, Florence decided she couldn't keep up her feelings bottled up anymore. She drove to Samson's house with a heavy heart. That same morning, Samson proposed to Vanessa and she joyfully accepted. When Florence arrived and saw Samson, she couldn't hold back her emotions. She ran to him, hugging him tightly. Samson, assuming it was a friendly hug, reciprocated, but Florence clarified it wasn't about missing him. It was about love. I love you so much, Samson, Florence confessed, shocking Samson. Samson was speechless, wondering why she hadn't said anything before. Florence explained that she had been in love with him since their first year, but didn't know if he felt the same way. Samson was caught off guard. He didn't want to hurt Florence, especially since he had already proposed to Vanessa. He didn't reveal this to Florence, trying to spare her feelings. Vanessa, hearing the commotion, stepped out and questioned what was happening. Samson reluctantly explained the situation. Vanessa, feeling threatened, lashed out at Florence, stating that she was already engaged to something and nothing could change that. Florence, heartbroken, stormed out in tears. At home, she blamed herself for not confessing earlier. The weight of her unrequited love and the recent event took a toll on her mental health. Days later, overwhelmed by her emotions, Florence spiraled into mental illness. She would scream Samson's name, lost in her delusions. Her family took her to a psychiatric hospital for treatment. When Samson learned of Florence's condition, he rushed to visit her. He felt guilty and responsible, ensuring she received proper care at the hospital. Despite being engaged to Vanessa, he couldn't ignore Florence's plight. He visited her regularly, bringing gifts and checking on her well-being. Meanwhile, Vanessa and Samson got married and their married life went on smoothly. They never forgot about Florence, always making sure to check on her every weekend. Samson wrestled with guilt and regret wishing things had turned out differently. But in the end, he tried his best to be there for Florence, even if he couldn't change the past. As time passed, Samson and Vanessa faced a big problem. They couldn't have children. Samson, being a wise man, 
suggested they go to the hospital to find out the reason. But Vanessa was scared. She believed that if they prayed hard enough, God would give them children without any need for medical help. Samson was worried. He didn't want to see Vanessa sad or disappointed. He begged her to go to the hospital with him, but Vanessa refused, saying she was very okay. However, Samson didn't give up. He convinced Vanessa to go to the hospital with him, even if, if it was just once. They did many tests upon arriving the hospital, and the doctors discovered something shocking. Vanessa had a damaged womb because of her too many abortions she had done while in school. Vanessa knew about her problem all along, but she kept it hidden from Samson because she was afraid of hurting him. When Samson found out, he felt so broken. He felt like Vanessa had lied to him and kept secret. He felt really pained and deceived. Samson didn't know what to do. He loved Vanessa, but he couldn't bear the thought of never having children. Vanessa, on the other hand, pleaded with him, saying she didn't mean to hurt him. She just didn't want him to be worried. Their marriage was in trouble. Samson couldn't trust Vanessa anymore. He couldn't see a future with her, knowing they couldn't have children together. He told Vanessa that he couldn't continue the marriage. Feeling lost and alone, Samson reached out to Florence. But when he contacted Florence, he received a shocking but amazing news. Florence was already married and now has a child. Samson was happy for her, but he couldn't shake off his feelings. Time passed and Samson made a very difficult decision. He decided to start a new life abroad, far away from Vanessa and his old memories with her. He hoped that by living, he could find peace and happiness again. Vanessa was left behind, filled with guilt and regret. She realized that her decisions had caused her to lose the love of her life. She wished she had told him from the beginning, even if it didn't work out. But now, it was too late. Samson's departure left Vanessa alone to face her mistakes. She spent many days and nights praying for forgiveness and hoping for a chance to make things right. But deep down, she knew that some mistakes could never be undone. This story highlights the importance of communication and honesty in relationships. It teaches us that holding back our true feelings can lead to misunderstanding, heartbreak, and regret. It also emphasizes the significance of mental health awareness and support during challenging times. The story underscores the value of being true to oneself and expressing emotions openly, even if the outcome may not always be what we hoped for. Thanks for watching this captivating story on African stories and folk tales. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more stories. Thank you.